Good morning, everybody. You join me on the same day as the last video. These cars are getting clean. Some of them are gonna be running. So enjoy this, it's gonna be a little bit cinematic. We're gonna do a lot of cleaning, getting these cars ready to be moved or sold and hopefully running because all of them are really heavy and I can't push them on my own. So they need to run. Anyway, let's crack on. We're going to clean this one first. I'm going to film some stuff, he's going to do it. We're going to put these wheels on here, the Impera ones, uh, change them onto there, pump the tyres up. And then we're going to use of my lovely Steiner Gloss gear that uh, Cav sends me quite often. So I appreciate that, Cav. Thank you very much. We're going to put this to work today. Appreciate that. Yeah. This one here is a marker, absolute gem. It's been jacked up on there, but it's mint. Oh yeah! Mint. I think we can all agree here that this has come out absolutely bloody fantastic. It's still very dirty and it needs like a machine polish to get it immaculate, but for what we've done, it is very, very good. Oh my God. What do you think, Lewis? It's very good. Little blast in the engine bay, got all the dirt out of all of here. It's proper, proper clean, but yeah, it was well, presentable. Yeah, it's not like it's been in field for 13 years. No, that is good. I think we should put that over there. Yeah. Come on. Ugh. We need to clean the inside, but we're running out of daylight and we need to do the 36. Oh yeah, get this in there, parked up. And that is where it shall park for now and we're gonna give the interior clean another day, but 
that has come out well. Dog van putting in the work today. Obviously got the Datsun here out of the way. My mum's Golf E34, E34, E36. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Let's go and clean some 36s. I'm going to put a fuel pump on this and we're going to be good. We're not actually going to wash this today because I actually quite like the look of it. So we're going to put this away out of sight, out of mind for now. Uh, and then I'll think about it. I don't know what it is, but it just looks mean. And I don't know. I really, really like it as it is in with a black bumper on it. This car's going to be so hard to move being welded diff and whatnot. So the van is coming in clutch today. Here you got about four miles. I got in. <laughs> Time to get the gem and the lock cleaned. Turn the ignition on, let's see if this bomb works. Is it on? Is, it, is, is the battery on? Yeah. Huh. Is there a... a is there a mobiliser on it? I think so. There's a red light on the dash. Where? Just there to your left, there's a red light on the dash when you turned it on. Oh, I six. Ah! Oh, oh there is. Play with that. Got the immobiliser fob. Got that working. Had to take the battery out my vernier caliper. The old one was dead. Let's uh, see if we can get it to work. Turn the ignition on. Yeah. Right, it's on. Crank it. Yeah, ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. There's fuel in the rail. We've got no fuel feed. Wait, 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 wait. Right, right. Jerry rigged up. Bit of airline, bit of fuel, boom. Go on. Ready? Yep. Oh, oh yeah. It's... Hang on, do it again. Hang on, I think the pump's spinning backwards. Do it again. Do it again. Pump's not strong enough. Just let it build up pressure. Let's start again. On. Oh. <laughs> Is it going to piss out the bottom? Oh my god, all down my hands. 
I mind, fucking hell. Oh my god, it's your first day pouring. Yeah. The fuel pump isn't man enough to pull it out the bottom of this, so... It's got it all the way down my sleeve. Brilliant. Really awesome. nice. Wicked. Gravity feed for the win. Odds on, this is not going to do anything. Well... We'll find out. This is what we're going with. This is a bit of mess, but this pump's not man enough and we really want to hear this run. So we're gravity feeding with the pump as well. And now the battery on the car has died, so we've got the jump pack on there. Put the fuel pump wire in, it's working on this pump. Ah, oh, pain in the ass. Wish we had a fuel pump. That'd be much easier, wouldn't it? That would be a really good way of doing it. Okay. Got him. Pump's working. It's pulled it all in. Well, we got this running briefly. The fuel pump's working, and now it has no spark, and the immobilizer started going off, and now we can't figure it out. Well, that's gonna go in the fucking bin where it belongs. Yeah. Because they're shit. What a piece of shit. What a piece of shit. At least it wasn't running yesterday, yeah. and we thought it had no fuel, so we put fuel in it, and then the fuel, the immobilizer started being a dick. Now it doesn't want to fire oh, at all. Just that's good. Get a new one of them. Whatever that is. Mm. No, we put brake cleaner straight into the carb. The carb or in. Uh, we put brake cleaner straight in there and it didn't run. So, some mobilizer spark issues. So, we have run out of time today. But, this can go out the back and live with the other one. Alright, so I wasn't going to upload this video yet because we didn't finish it, we had to go get a roast, but my week has been terrible. I've been doing lots of boring, like just general maintenance jobs this week and you know, nothing's actually got done that's filmable. So I'm gonna summarize what's happening here because I've had a lot of questions from the previous video of all the BMWs and a lot of people enjoyed it and there's a lot of questions. So the E36, now this car, obviously we're not keeping it. What we are gonna do is, you know, give it a service, give it a good going over, new tires, MOT, get it roadworthy, and it will be up for sale. We don't have any intentions of keeping it. It's a very, very good car. Like obviously a 318 IS coupe manual with no rust. And I mean, there is no rust on this car. This car is absolutely rust free, 100%, which is absolutely unheard of. This is the best looking uh, rust wears E36 I've ever seen in my life. It does have a little bit of paint peeling on the top of the edge here, here and here, but the, the driver's side is absolutely fine. It's just the passenger side, maybe where it was parked, I don't know, but it's extremely, extremely good. And yeah, we're gonna tie it up, make it a bit nicer. The headliner has fallen down, E36 problems all over, but I might re-trim them in like some suede uh, make it look a bit pretty and the rest of the interior is black anyway so it would look fantastic but yeah all in all this skin sold and it will be for sale and i'll put it up on my instagram and stuff when it does but yeah this is gonna be i've had so many messages about this car like so many messages but bear with us we're gonna make it roadworthy do a couple more videos on it and that will be gone but yeah there you go now this one here this is the most surprising one we have of the lot this one we were just going to sell. So we put the metric wheels on it. We got rid of those uh, style fires that are on it because we were going to sell it on these and someone was going to buy it as it is. But upon cleaning it, this thing is so good. I, I mean, it is still a little dirty. We've still got to scrub it. That mud and stuff was thick on there and it needs a good polish. However, this car is so good. This is so clean. It's got like a mark on the bumper there. It's got a dent on the front wing here. And that is it really. Oh, and there's like one dent just here. But that is it on the whole car. Like the whole car is rust free, it's immaculate. It's got obviously got the cruise control, it's got the rear blind. It's like a really nice car. We haven't cleaned the inside yet because we've run out of time. But, you know, if we can get this running and it runs sweet, 
happy days. Like, I'm actually over the moon with this car. We didn't even mean to buy this one. We wanted to buy the 36, the Touran, and the white 535. And this was literally thrown in as part of the deal. So, you know, once we sell the 36, we're hoping that all of them become free by selling just the 36. So this one here, we might, if we can get it running, I said to Lewis that we should get it running, get it clean, get it roadworthy, and then take it to the Nürburgring or BMW Museum or something like that, because I think a big road trip in this would be great. And it's more than capable. It's a fantastic car, luxury fire series, really early on as well. I think it'd be so cool if we can get it running, take it to abroad or something, do a big road trip in it, film it all, and yeah, that's what the story is with that. I think everyone's most surprised about that one, to be fair. I think if we get on the road, we'll put the style files back on it because we're not spending 700 million pounds on a set of tires for those wheels. But yeah, uh, it came out so, so good. Obviously we still need to clean it a bit more, get the machine polish on it uh, and make it really nice. But yeah, I think this is going to be a fun car to mess about with on the channel. Lewis has ordered a fuel pump for his car. So we're going to try it in that car beforehand and then See if that runs, see if it's all good, and then we'll put the fuel pump in Lewis's Touring. And then we have these two scrappers. So this e Faithful Touring is Lewis's. He's keeping this, and I think he wants to try and daily it. Uh, obviously, it needs a little bit of rust repair that I'm going to do. We tried to get it running, and the fuel pump that we put on there, which was that E28 one, it sort of worked. It was running, and then it just sort of died. Now, obviously, it's an unknown fuel pump. It seemed to be working. It was pulling fuel through. You saw it in the clip. It was pulling fuel out the, the gravity-fed bottle. It just wasn't really doing fuel pump things. However, uh, once we did gravity feed it, put loads of fuel into it, it just wouldn't start at all. And I stuck some brake cleaner down the inlet, didn't even try to fire, and the alarm went off and all this sort of thing. So we think the immobilizer, which is the only one with an aftermarket immobilizer, we think the immobilizer in this is uh, dead and it, it was causing us trouble because it just wouldn't spark after that. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Fuel pump's obviously coming for that. We'll put that in after we know that the 525 is working and then we'll get this on the ramp, take the sills off and see it and we'll do another video on that. And then we have my 535. I love this car. I initially found out about all of these cars about 18, 19 weeks ago, I think I see the post on Instagram. And my initial intention was to take the engine and box out of this car and just use the manual stuff for my six series. However, the gearbox setup doesn't really work in my A24. It's a bit annoying and you know it's more effort than it's worth. And pulling apart a car that you know, runs and drives seems a bit sacrilege. And I also really enjoy the look of it, just as it is. I don't know why. Everyone said the same thing. It looks mean and aggressive. It looks like an Abyssu drift car. You know, in Japan, all these cars are sat there, all these white chasers, they go all green and stuff. It's exactly what that car looks like. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it here, get a fuel pump for it. And I think I'll buy some bumpers for it and skirts, get the welding done and see if I can drive it around looking as it is for a bit. I really want to drive this car sideways aggressively at some point. That being said, my E24 still needs a manual swap, so this is kind of annoying. The engine and box will fit in that car. This one is a bit faster than my E24 one because the one in the E24 is a M30 B34 and this is a B35. This should be like 205, 10 horsepower. The one in the 6 Series is like 185, I think. I'm not a nerd, but that's what I've read. You can put it in, a little bit of an adapter on it, different engine mount. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, but it's not worth pulling it apart. I like it, and it's a Sport 5 Series in manual, so it's, it's getting rare. It's probably the rarest one out of the lot, but also the ropiest, but also the best looking, in my opinion. I don't know. But yeah, Lewis is coming over this weekend with a fuel pump, so we'll see if we can get this running fully, and obviously the other ones as well, so I will film that. But yeah, comment below what you think about all the cars that uh, we have acquired here. Have they, were they worth the money? Were they, well, you don't know how much they were, to be fair. Comment how much you reckon we paid for all four. Um, and then let us know if you think we should go to Germany in that old five series. Stick around for the three series for sale. 
I'll do a more video at the weekend when Lewis comes over. Uh, I tried to make this video really long and cinematic. However, where well, I was fully multitasking, it's hard to film and wash well, two, three, four cars at the same time. All before you have to go for a roast dinner at four o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, it wasn't as well as I anticipated. And the rest of the cars in the workshop, I haven't really filmed anything because I've been doing boring stuff like putting springs on a Volvo and a BMW. <sighs> but yeah, video did well. A lot of people enjoyed it. I think everyone enjoys it when I go on a little adventure. Uh, I would love to do more of that sort of thing if like deals come up where we can do that sort of thing or something really cool and rare that I can buy and film and like pull out of a bush. I would love to do that. I can always get a team behind me and I think next time I do something like that, I'll get like a proper camera on it and some microphones because when you're editing it, you realize that I'm not the man behind the camera as well. It's like, I need to multitask sort of thing, but it worked out good. Everyone liked it. So yeah, I'm just rambling on now. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely weekend. Uh, see you on Tuesday for another episode of something. Maybe the Mark II Golf I haven't finished yet. Cheers. Goodbye. Slowly approaching to that 20k. Subscribe. We are very close now. I appreciate all of you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Also, I forgot to add. Everyone's like, what about the M5? What about the M5? What about the M5? Why don't you buy the M5? Come on, get the M5. We don't have enough money to buy an M5. We're still poor. We bought all these cars. We're still poor. The M5 was sold to someone else. So it was offered to us. Oh, it was offered to me. But, you know, I don't need to buy an M5 barn find where well, i've got many other cars i'd like to if it was the same price as the rest of them then yeah i would have bought it but it wasn't the case so everyone that thought we was going to buy the m5 i do apologize but you know i had to put it in the thumbnail obviously because that's the that's the clicking point of the video which is still cool we got it running i can't take the m5 someone else has got it my apologies thank you anyway if i can get enough money to buy an m5 and i'll buy an m5 but i don't so yeah, those old junkers we bought instead will have to do.